Hey there, listen, we've got something incredibly fun planned, a prize that is heavily sought after, and two people, if you haven't met before, you really need to, and you get to. Let's do this. There you are, welcome back. Let's get into this fun, shall we? So recently, I was talking with my friends over at Thangs. It was about the 3D printed speaker episode. Interestingly enough, viewer Hawk1966 pointed out that these speakers, the bass speakers, needed covers. Mm. So that's where you come in. I'm gonna give you all of the measurements you need in order to design your own. And then you're gonna go off and design as many as you have ideas. You're gonna upload them all to thangs.com and you're gonna use a very special hashtag, 3DPN speaker cover. Using that hashtag, 3DPN speaker cover, enters you into the contest and makes you eligible to win all of the prizes. What can you win, you ask? That's a really good question. But before we get into that, I need to tell you how you can make these speaker covers. I actually have this written down because I don't want to mess up any of the numbers. These are, these speakers, these ones right here are C's, S-E-A-S Prestige, and they are model H1456-08ER19RNX. And you can tell I had to write that down because I would have forgotten all that. I do have a link in the description for the data sheet for this speaker, and it's gonna contain all the numbers you need, but honestly, the only ones you, you really need are the circumference of the speaker and the hole pattern. There are six holes evenly spaced on a 166 millimeter circle. The holes themselves are five millimeters. The head on the screw measures in at 8.5 millimeters. So with the head at 8.5 millimeters, it means there are three and a half millimeters essentially where the screw is holding down whatever you design. The head itself is 4.6 millimeters tall. And it's actually, it's a socket. It is a four millimeter socket. I don't think you really need to know that, but the dimensions for the head are important in case you need to bury the screw or your design is intricate and you have to account for the screw and the head itself. Uh, for the length of the screw, essentially from the bottom of the head to the tip of the spear, we are looking at, I wanna say 30 millimeters. Now that shouldn't come into play too much because I would imagine your design is going to be a few millimeters thick where the mount is, but if it needs to be thicker, just know that that screw needs to grip probably halfway through and there you go. So as an example, I actually designed one of my own. I went into Fusion 360 and I took about a half hour and I made, I made this. This is the Hi5 speaker cover. I love it. I love it a lot. You can tell though, uh, when I turn it around, the supports were uh, a bear to get off. And because this was thin, it broke. It broke right there. Plus there were supports in the holes for the screws. And uh, when those popped out, <laughs> I had a little accident. And uh, just know you have to take into account resin shrinkage when it's cured. I was in the pool! It's not a lot, but it's enough to possibly make it shatter. But I mean, have a look. That's cool. It's cool, right? I like it. Sean likes it too, good. But it's not just resin, right? This is Soriatech fast resin. And this was 3D printed on the Elgu Saturn 3D printer. I mean, did a good job. But again, uh, check your support settings. There's also FDM. Look at that. I like that. This is Polymaker's Polyterra material, which is way more biodegradable. And this is their mint color. And it makes sense. It doesn't taste or smell like mint. But again, the high five speaker grill. And because the PLA doesn't shrink, uh, here. 166 millimeter circle with five millimeter holes. Six of them equidistant around the circle. Get back over there. I know not everybody can use Fusion 360 and sometimes doing um, a whole pattern might not be the easiest thing. And so what I'm gonna do is make a template and I'm gonna turn it into an STL and I'm gonna upload it to things.com. You could bet I'm gonna use the special hashtag. And if that is what you need to get going on this design contest, it'll be available for you. Link will be in the description. You know, these are mine, but obviously I wanna see what you can come up with. And it's not just me judging, I needed some help. So I called on two very special people. The first, a designer and maker and someone who concentrates on wearable tech and costuming. In fact, her latest video is really, really cool. I highly suggest you check it out. That is of course, Sophie Wong. Hey, Sophie. 
Hi, Joel. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. How are you? I'm, I'm okay, and I'm thankful that you agreed to be a judge in our contest here. I, I'm really happy you're a part of it. Uh, it's a speaker design. What do you think about that? I think it's awesome. I think it's a really challenging design puzzle, and I'm super excited to see what people come up with. Now, it is on the, on the technical side of things, and so being a designer and a maker yourself, what are some things you're looking for in the design that people submit? So I always think of the visual aspect of a project as the opportunity for the project to speak for itself. I think 3D printing is a great application for this because you can get really expressive with, uh, with the visual of this speaker. So I'm looking for amazing visual aesthetic that is gonna enhance the function and not impede the function of the speaker. And I'm really excited to see some designs that showcase like the power of 3D printing. I would love to see some designs that cannot be made any other way. I think that would be really cool. Um, and I'm just excited to see what people come up with. Oh, fantastic. Well, I, I'm sure there's going to be a ton of designs for you to see, and I'm really excited for you to see it. Uh, well, before we go, what are you working on behind you? What is that? So this is my 3D printed dress that I'm working on. Um, the whole thing is 3D printed on mesh fabric. Um, it's been a long-term project because I have to print these in small pieces and assemble them all together after the fact. Um, I'm working on a video that's kind of detailing that process as well. This is kind of the, the thing about 3D printing that really excites me. You know, what can you do that hasn't been done before in any other medium? So, you know, that's the kind of thing that excites me about 3D printing. And I think why this kind of design challenge, your speaker cover design challenge, is such a good one because I think it's a great application for that. Well, I just knowing what you're doing in 3D printing and making and designing, I, I'm really going to be excited to see your opinions on the designs that come in. Sophie, thank you so much. And I look forward to sending you all sorts of cool stuff to check out. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Ready? Right. We're going to high five now. Ready? Think we can do it? Okay. One, two, three. Yep. For our next judge, you may have heard his work with Jay-Z, Kendrick Lamar, or Eminem. He is a celebrated music producer and a fellow aficionado of nerdy things. I'm talking, of course, of Just Blaze. Hey, Just, how's it going? Hey, bro, how's, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. Thank you so much for being a part of this little contest that we're doing. Not a problem at all. I mean, speakers are my passion. They are in there, a big part of my lifeblood. So I'm excited to see what uh, come up with. Well, I, I figured you were uniquely qualified for this because speakers, music production, sound, that's your, that's your jam. But also right behind you, move your head a little bit, Look. that is Metroplex. Yes, it is. So not only are you a producer, you are a giant nerd like me. Oh yes, no, dude. We can nerd out all day on 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 stuff like. That. I mean, there's a there's a flux capacitor over here. There's a Voltron that you can't see sitting right right under the uh, flux capacitor. Um, let's see if I can... Look at that. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited to see what people come up with. I think this is a really cool idea, and it's and it's. I'm, I'm actually upset that I didn't think about it first. Well, you know, there's always time for part two or a second revision, or man, we'll get going. <laughs> but one of the things I wanted to ask you though, specifically, being that you've been in the music industry for quite some time. You've seen a number of speakers. You have a number of speakers, obviously. What sort of elements are you looking for in these custom designs that people are going to be submitting? I, I, I want to see innovation. You know, I feel like um, the speaker market in space, we've been referencing the same designs for like the past 30, 40 years. You know what I mean? Yeah, if I that know what makes you mean. Sense. Like, the speakers that I have behind me, the, the reflectors, those are some of the uh, the reason I fell in love with them. I don't know how much you can actually see them, but like um, those were some of the first speaker designs that I felt were unique that weren't drawn off of the same old thing, if that makes sense. Totally makes sense. You know. Like NS10s are a standard, right? Like the Yamaha NS10. You know, aside from I would say maybe barefoot. There just there isn't a lot of innovation in the speaker space, so I'm looking to see something innovative that will just hopefully make me change the way that I look at speaker placement and speaker sound. Jeez, no, no pressure there. Well, I think using 3D printing 
is the way to go then because the, with that we have the ability to design things that can't be produced in any other way. So you're looking for innovation and this is, I think this is the way to do it. So I'm excited to show you what some people are gonna be designing. You up for the challenge, right? Yes, sir, I am here. Um, and I'm happy to be one of the judges. And at the very least, it's also got to look cool. You know what I mean? Like one of my things about, one of the things about my rooms that I've designed over the years um, or studios that I've been involved with over the years is they've always just had to look cool. We have to ride that line of innovation. Hopefully there's some sonic innovation, but also just aesthetically, it's got to look, it's got to look cool. I understand that. It's got to look real cool. I mean, these are my speakers. I want them to look cool. Exactly. You know, like when, when, when people see my rooms, they're always, they, they're, you know, one of the things that I always get is like, I feel like I'm on a Star Wars set or I feel like I'm on a, you know, on the Death Star bridge. I get that a lot, you know, so hopefully the, uh, the things we get back um, can live up to that. I hope so. Listen, Just, thank you so much. Obviously, we'll be in contact. I'll get you everything you need to to take a look at all the designs, but it's customary on my show that we always end a fruitful conversation with a with an enthusiastic high five. Think we can do it digitally? Uh sure. I mean, 5 4 3 2 Bam. Just like that. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. That's who you've got judging your contest entries. That's uh that's no pressure. That is no pressure. We should probably get to what you're gonna win though. And honestly, the prizes are pretty fantastic. Everybody who enters the contest is eligible for a $50 Amazon gift card. That's, that's just for trying. So good luck there. The runner up, the runner up is gonna get a six month subscription to Protopasta's Endless Possibilities. And that is, just to make sure I have it right, you get three spools of filament sent to your home every other month. That's not too bad, right? The grand prize winner, the the creme de la creme, the, the person whose design will sit upon my 3D printed speaker enclosures, that person's design wins a Prusa Mini. No joke, a Prusa Mini will be yours if you win this contest. And now the fine print. Uh, you have two weeks from the air date of this episode. And just to make sure I get this right, get your designs up on things.com. After April 4th at 1159 PST, we will no longer count any submissions. It's 11.59 at night, 11.59 p.m., April 4th, PST. After that, the contest entry deadline has expired and you have to get your designs in before that. Make sure you do. Well, look at that. That's it. An epic contest, two fantastic judges, well, three if you count me, but I don't. And finally, Hawk1966, we will have some speaker covers for this, for these wonderful Basie speakers right here. Don't forget the hashtag, hashtag 3DPN speaker cover and you're gonna to upload to thangs.com. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Practice kindness aggressively. I think I got them all. And as always, high five.